In this video, I'm going to share nine key notes and easy tips that can help you pass your SOLIDWORKS certification exam. One, the SOLIDWORKS exams are long, going up to four hours during which you cannot pause. So make sure to empty an adequate space in your schedule to focus on that exam without any distraction. Also, take the exam at a time in which you are well rested. Number two, get familiar with some shortcuts that can save you time when 3D modeling. In the description, we have a link to a blog post with important and easy shortcuts that you can start adding to your workflow today. So make sure to check it out down in the description. Number three, the exams are interconnected, meaning different questions will build on each other. So prepare a space and time to help you focus during the exam. Otherwise, getting distracted in the middle of a question set will cost you lots of time to rethink what have you done in the previous questions. Four, use the same PC to view and solve the exam. You will be required to download parts and use them to solve some exam questions. Using a different device for viewing and solving will cost you precious time transferring the files from one PC to another. Five, save your progress in a new file for each question. Some questions are interconnected, so having a version of your work before starting each question will help you if you end up needing to start solving a question again. Number six, use double screens or a bigger screen if that is possible for you. This way, you can have the question displayed on one screen while you solve them on the other screen. This will save you time and effort navigating between different windows. Seven, the exam is online. So make sure you have a smooth and stable internet connection to carry you through the exam's duration. Eight, close all browsers and other running programs on your PC to avoid slowing down your SOLIDWORKS or the testing software. The last thing you want to have during a timed exam is a frozen PC. Nine, be confident, relaxed, and focused. I hope those steps will be helpful for you during the exam. Make sure you have had a good practice on all the topics expected of that particular exam you are taking. We left the number of tips in this video at nine because we want you to share the 10th one. So do you have any extra tips or notes for those official exams? If so, please do share them with us in the comments. We would love to read them. Suppose you are looking for streamlined learning programs to help you get the knowledge and skills expected of a specific certificate. In that case, you can check out our online T for Design School. We have many comprehensive programs there that include quality content and experts who will support your learning whenever you have questions or doubts. The best part is that all the contents are video based and self paced. So you can fit them in your schedule the way that works best for you. We will have a link to the school in the description of this video for you to check it out.